Hi, I'm Steve Copnell from Allet Mowers and today I'm going to talk you through the Allet Regal range. So the Regal is regarded by groundsmen around the world as the ultimate large area hydrostatic dedicated cylinder mower. The perfect choice for precise mowing creating sharp defined stripes. The Regal is available in 36 inch or 42 inch width of cut and it's the largest cylinder that Allet produce. Also the largest walk behind cylinder mower at 42 inches. Popular in outfield mowing, football, rugby or other sectors where large area cutting is required. It boasts an infinitely variable mowing cutter speed with variable clips rate per metre. It's available in 36 or 42 and the 36 inch weighing at 352 kilograms or the 42 weighing at 376 kilograms. The main advantage of the Regal is having the hydrostat which allows mowing speeds greater than a walking pace. So that will save time, costs and also still being able to achieve precision mowing and sharp defined stripes, even at a top speed of 7.5 mile an hour. So let's go through the features of the Regal. So we'll start with the front where we have the grass box. So this is an extra large uh, collection unit uh, which comes as standard. Um, the reason for the extra large is because it's a large area outfield mower. Um, you don't want to be stop starting continuously just to empty the grass box. So we do have there the option for easy tip. So you can get a lot of weight in this grass box but with the pivot system it does make that easy to lift and to empty the box. So you do have the option for either a drop sheet um, to, to collect the, uh, the clippings or you can drive the machine straight into the composting area and then tip the clipping straight into that area. Both the Regals are powered by a Honda GX340 and the reason we use the Hondas is simply because groundsmen love them. Very easy starters and simple to maintain. With the, uh, the Honda engine and the Hydrostat, the machine is capable of achieving speeds of 7.5 miles per hour. And the fuel tank uh, is unleaded petrol and it has a 6.5 litre capacity, so ideal for when cutting large areas. We have the recoil start and we also have an electric key start as well on the handlebars. The Hydrostat on the Regal uh, has a separate um, hydraulic oil tank that will take a hydraulic oil grade 32 and the tank in there ideally you want to keep that about two thirds full and you want to be replacing that every 500 hours or every end of every season depending on which is soonest. So the front roller on the Regal is a plain steel with sealed end bearings as so that uh, helps giving you the defined stripe which is what the Regal is known for. Adjustable uh, for the heights as well so the height of cuts you can achieve on here is 6.5 millimetres to 44.5 millimetres. The cylinder we have a six blade which is 6.25 inch diameter and that's a variable cutting uh, clips per metre as well. Heavy duty uh, cylinder thickness and bottom blade but it gives you that defined scissor cut uh, action which is perfect for sports, cricket, where ball pace is key. The handlebars on the Regal uh, are pivotable at the bottom so we can raise and lower these depending on height of user and the comfort. We also have the option available to fit an anti-vibration kit to the lower section where it mounts to the chassis. There are wide handlebars, that's for comfort, weight distribution and balance. So with the, uh, the weight of the machines, especially on the 42, the width of the handlebars does make that very easy to turn and manoeuvre. One of the best features as well about the Regal is the power steering. So we have in independent braking systems which basically breaks each side of the differential uh, of the rear roller. We also have the key start, we have parking brake. Um, parking brake is not for to be used for slowing down the machine, that's only for when the machine is switched off and just for parking or storage or transport. We have cutter option which is an over centre, so we bring in the lever that engages our cutter system. 
we have our engine revs. So ideally we set that to maximum and then we control the speed of the mower using the hydrostat. So the hydrostat has a reverse option, which we bring the lever to the right. That will then bring the machine in reverse very slowly. Once we've let go of that, it will, it will stop just for safety reasons in case you're backing into a corner. So bring that into reverse. If you get into trouble, just let go and it will return to its neutral position. To get the machine to go forward, we lift the lever and then we move that then to the left. Basically, the more we move that lever, the machine will respond. So if we move that violently to the left, the machine will act accordingly to that. So once we are coming to slow down, we then bring the lever to the left and then we drop it into its neutral position. So we lift and then towards the left and then that will bring the machine into drive. Slowing down, we bring it back to the right into its neutral position. I say with the braking system, when we are coming to a turn, if we bring that brake lever in, the machine will then turn to the right. Again with the left one, if we bring that left lever in, the machine will turn to the left. The safety feature of the handlebars, we have the operator presence lever, which is just underneath the, um, the top handle. So we bring that in to allow us to st start the engine. If we are um, in, in, in trouble, we can just let go of the bail bar and that will kill the engine. The Regal is fitted with a three-piece rear roller. So the roller is made up in three sections with a split differential. It's all steel construction, but it does have a rubberized covering. So ideal for traction and silent running over hard surfaces. And the rear roller with the front roller, that's really what gives you the defined stripes that you see, especially at such a spectacular venue such as Edgebaston. So the three-sectional rear roll is really what makes this machine easy to manoeuvre, especially with the brake band uh, power steering as well. So the brake bands are located on each side of the rear roller, and when they are applied, that will brake each, each side independently. But that's what makes it very easy to manoeuvre. With the Regal being a wide area dedicated mower, you can imagine that in a venue such as this, the amount of miles that a groundsman will be walking each day. So to save the legs, there is the option for the trailing seat, so it's very quick and easy to hitch to the, uh, the mower just by a ball hitch. It has the rear roller, which again is exactly the same as the, uh, the, the mower, which is a rubberized coating. So again, ideal to keep that fine stripe that the mower will uh, achieve, but also for when going across hard surfaces, it's a uh, silent operation. There is adjustable seat, so you can adjust that depending on comfort of user. Also for the height as well, it's fully adjustable and uh, the mower does keep in line with the trailing seat as well. So if you are going round obstacles um, or for when turning, the seat will keep in line with the mower. If you are looking for a large cylinder mower, uh, especially um, a w looking to, for a world-class finish, especially what you can see here at Edgebaston, then the Regal really is definitely one to be considered. This is the oldest machine that we uh, produce um, for Alec mowers. Um, and it's basically what our world-class stripe is, is renowned for and it is built on this mower. So really is definitely one to be considered. Uh, if you're after further information, please see our website, which is www.alit.co.uk and also our social media platforms as well are a great place to find other information and feedback from other groundsmen as well.